Okay, so this is the Christmas hamper box, which I've just put on Instagram, which we're gonna try and promote this Christmas. They were quite popular last Christmas, similar type things. I'm just gonna go through what's gonna actually gonna be in the box. Obviously the pictures might be a bit, um, not so much misleading, but if you might have any queries about exactly what's in there, I'm just gonna go through it now, okay? So you'll get one cookie jar, okay? So basically you just basically take all the ingredients out mix it with butter and a small egg which I'll do another video in a bit just to show you how, how much you get and stuff like that okay so you'll get a nice kilner jar like so try and get a label on it as well this is just a jar I did for Joe obviously you won't have all these um, letters on there but um, that's it just a cookie mix all in there you've got the flour the chocolate pestles the brown and um, light sugar and then the confetti sprinkles okay so I'll do a video a bit later on how to make the cookies, okay? So you'll also get two bits of Stollen, okay? So I'll just show you what the Stollen looks like. Okay, so you'll get two of these wrapped up in a bit of grease proof or wax paper with a bit of twine. Okay, that's just another one I just showed without the wrapping on, okay? Then you will get a bag of Christmas cake bites. Okay, well more than enough to feed six to eight people. So enough for two each. Okay, Rocky Road. And again, two each in there. Enough to go around for a group of six on one of the festive days between Christmas and New Year. Okay, and then you will get the chocolate stirrers. Okay, this is white and dark chocolate. Let's put into any hot milk, stir it around, you get a nice hot chocolate. Okay, then you'll get six stirrers in there. Okay, then lastly the box, okay. So we have a vinyl cutting machine. Gemma will be doing that. Okay, so it's a nice wooden crate which we get. Sorry, before I go on to the actual crate, the last thing I forgot to put in, we get a mold wine kit. So add this, is just brown sugar, cinnamon stick, a couple of star anise, a bay leaf and some rosemary. Just add that to a bottle of red wine. Just bring it up to a simmer, don't boil it, otherwise you'll boil off the alcohol, which won't have any kind of effect in terms of the alcohol. I mean, you could boil the alcohol, but you wanna have the alcohol content left in the wine. So just bring it up to the boil slowly. Sorry, don't boil it, bring it up to heat, simmer around 80, 70, 80 degrees, and that's it. Okay, then the box, okay, so we have a vinyl cutting machine. Okay, so we do these for all celebrations, not just Christmas, anniversaries, birthdays, special events. Okay, leaving gifts, thank you gifts. Okay, so there's a nice vinyl cutting. Good thing about these things, once you've given it to somebody or received it, you can actually use it around the house just to put stuff in like tools or ornaments, have it on your mantelpiece in your living room. Absolutely fine. Okay, so what the next video I'll do, I'll do a video on how to put the cookies together. Okay, very simple. Okay, I'll do that a bit later. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.